Hi, I'm Owen from 99 Bikes, and I'm here to explain what are e-bikes. E-bikes are electric assisted bicycles, and they're just that. They're bicycles that you get on and you pedal, but they've got that little bit of electric assistance to help you out. All electric bicycles have a lithium ion battery, which powers a motor. That motor gives you a little bit of assistance that can help you ride further, ride faster, ride more often, or just get out and ride much easier. So how do electric bikes work? That they work just the same as a regular bike. You turn it on, you get on, and you pedal. It's as easy as that. All of them have a lithium ion battery, which you can recharge, and they power a motor. There's different types of motors, but essentially, all you do is you get on and you ride it like a normal bike with a little bit of extra electric assistance to help you out. They're all controlled via a controller on the handlebar, which you can use to customize the setting that you'd like. So you can get a longer distance eco ride that allows the bike to last longer, or you can put it on a higher output mode, which allows you to last longer and get an easier ride. There are many different types of electric bikes depending on how you would like to ride. We've got electric mountain bikes for those that want to get out and experience some fun on the dirt. We've got electric commuter bikes for those wanting to ride to and from work and get out of that traffic. We've also got hybrid bikes that can do a bit of everything. Riding to and from work, riding out on the weekend, going on an adventure. We've got the bike for you. There are two main motor types. This one in front of me is a mid-drive motor. But what does that actually mean? A mid-drive motor means that the motor is located in the middle of the bike. And that's exactly where you're pedaling. So a mid-drive motor can actually feel what you're doing. It can feel how you're pedaling and it can respond accordingly. When a mid-drive motor gives you assistance, it feels like the pedaling is easier. It feels just like riding a normal bike. It feels smooth. This is a hub drive motor. What does that mean? It means that the motor is located in the hub of the wheel. This bike is located in the rear wheel. And what does that mean? It means that this motor is a lot better value than a lot of other types of motors on the market. It means that it's a little bit more simple, but in essence, it's the exact same as any other e-bike. You get on it and you ride it just like any other bike. The hub motor means that you're not gonna be able to get assistance immediately as soon as you start pedaling. You're gonna have to pedal it a little bit for the sensor to activate. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna accelerate that rear wheel and drive you forward. You might be wondering, how far can I go on an electric bike? Well, there's a lot of things that play into that. You need to take into account the battery size of the bike, as well as the motor type of the bike, as well as what mode you're in on the controller of the bike, as well as what the weather's doing that day. There's so many things that play into it. Even the terrain that you're riding on can impact how far you can go on that electric bike. It's all about how hard the bike has to work and how hard you're making your bike work. But in essence, if you've got a bigger battery, it does help you to ride further. But if you've got a more powerful motor, that can mean that a bigger battery won't actually get you increased range. So if you're confused or if you wanna know more, you can find all kinds of range calculators online or you can come in and talk to us and we're more than happy to help you out talk you through the different options and help you figure out what bike is right for you and how far you can go on your electric bike. So what about electric scooters? Electric scooters are fantastic for a really short ride. So these things, great for a couple of kilometers to help you commute to and from work or for a quick ride around on the weekend. But if you want to ride further, electric bikes are definitely the way to go. With a bigger wheel, bigger handlebars, they're a little bit safer and easier to ride further. But for those short, quick trips, electric scooters can't go wrong. Yeah.